Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. And tonight we're going to be talking about YG, Kaylani, and Kaylani's baby daddy finally speaking out and setting the record straight about a couple things because y'all got him messed up, okay? Now, as you guys know, Kaylani and YG have been flaunting around town this publicity stunt. I mean, not publicity stunt. I mean, is it a publicity stunt? I mean, they have been flaunting around this new relationship. Now, it all started from a couple days ago where they were walking into a restaurant and it was paparazzi everywhere capturing the two on Kaylani. I want to say Kaylani's birthday going into the restaurant. Now, I don't recall the last time I remember paparazzi following YG or Kehlani, so it took me by surprise that they were heavily out there to catch the two together. But hey, it is what it is. So they were caught out, you know, TMZ was able to catch them out, and there was other paparazzi that all captured the moment and caught them out and everything like that. And they have been flaunting around town. A lot of people were like, wait, didn't Kaylani just have a baby? And didn't YG just have a baby as well? Like, what's going on and what's the tea? A lot of people started making jokes about Kaylani's baby daddy, about him being gay and how he probably, you know, went back to a guy, et cetera, et cetera. If you guys don't know that T, the father of her child is bisexual. So they both talked about it. I think Kaylani talked about it and she was saying something along the lines of she understands him because she's bisexual as well. And she talked about, you know, her being in a relationship with a bisexual man and how they understand each other. Well, the baby daddy was not here for all of the people talking about, you know, him being gay. Because a lot of people were like, oh, he was just gay or whatever. And he went back to a man and all this kind of stuff after they seen her in YG. He took to his Twitter to set the record straight. But before I share with you guys his tweet and what he had to say, I'm going to refresh your memory on Kaylani speaking openly about them both being bisexual. I made a whole video about it when she first announced her pregnancy and she went on Queens Radio to talk about it. So I'm going to share a snippet of that now and then after that I'll share with you guys what he has to say today. I thought you were in a relationship with a girl. Are you like you know? That was a really long time ago. I started dating women before I ever dated men, and then I was really lucky to find a partner who was a bisexual male, and he really understands my queerness and my fluidity, and I really understand his, and we just really appreciate each other as human beings, and it's been really awesome to be understood. Okay, so that was her confirming that her baby daddy is, in fact, bisexual, but they're great partners. They understand each other. She's bisexual. He's bisexual. And so Nicki Minaj decided to clarify, like, wait, like, what's the tea, sis? Come again? Did I hear that correctly? So your partner is bisexual and you are bisexual. Yeah. Um, you plan on getting married? Okay, and that was an interview that she did right when she announced her pregnancy and people were speculating about her relationship and who she was in a relationship with out the blue and how she was pregnant out the blue. That was that. Okay, so again, now that she was spotted out with YG and everybody seen them together and people started to speculate, they started to speculate that he had got back with a man and maybe he was probably like her gay best friend and they just did this as, you know, coming together to make a baby. And he wanted to clarify and speak up on Twitter to make it known what's what. In the tweet, he said... I've never been a sperm donor, nor do I identify as gay, nor have I ever been the gay best friend, LOL. So he's clarifying, never have I been the gay best friend. He also says, I am a father to my beautiful daughter and I like what I like. If you're going to be aimless and nosy, at least have your facts straight. <laughs> okay, so he wanted to make it very clear that he's not no gay best friend. He don't even identify as gay. And if you're going to come at him, come correct. You know, 
come correct. If you if y'all gonna speculate, if you're going to you know make assumptions, at least have the correct words in place because he never said he was gay. Kaylani, when she talked about it, she said that he was bi, that they both were bisexual. So that means he likes men, and that means he likes women. Okay, it is what it is. A person decided to reply to that post on his Twitter. And they were basically telling him that he does not have to explain himself to anybody. The person responded to his tweet and they said they really don't even deserve a clarification of yourself and your preferences. And he replied and he said, ain't no clarifications. I'm setting my boundaries, whether MF is respected or not. My intentions are clear. My life is beautiful. This ish don't move my spirit. I just owe it to myself to speak up when I should. So again, when he was speaking up, he was making it clear that whatever y'all want to talk about, I am a father, period. And I also came across another separate tweet from July where he said that he's just falling in and out of love just to pass the time. Hey, it is what it is. Okay. So meanwhile, <laughs> over on YG Baby Mama page, you know, because a lot of people were also, when it came to YG's baby mama, they was like, how is he with her? He got a whole pregnant baby mama. His baby mama is pregnant blah, 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 like how he, you know, how he left her while she pregnant, X, Y, and Z. She posted up a photo of their daughter that they just had together. She put in the little notes at the bottom that the baby will be two months in three days. So I think that was her subliminal way of letting people know, like, first of all, I'm not pregnant. My baby is two months old, about to be. And, you know, both of them, I don't like, you know, I don't know. Meanwhile, Kaylani and YG continue with their publicity, I mean, relationship, you know, professing their love for one another all across New York Fashion Week. And they are just, you know, making photo op after photo op. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that this is an actual relationship with Kaylani and YG? I myself, I think that they probably working on music together. They're trying to use this as a boost because, you know, on YouTube, the thing that's popping is couple goals. And that's also something that pops in the industry. Cardi B was beginning to make a buzz, but when she got with Offset, that kind of blew her up even more and made her more of a person that people were like paying attention to or whatever. Not saying her music wasn't good, but that made people like really focus and like, oh, you know, be invested into the couple. A lot of people are invested into these relationships. Like when Nicki Minaj got with Meek and et cetera, et cetera. It goes on. Like when these rappers get with these other rappers, it kind of puts the spotlight on them a little more. And I'm not saying the other couples that I mentioned are fake or only for publicity. You know, Offset and Cardi have a whole kid together. But when it comes to YG and Kaylani, I feel like they just using that formula because when was the last time you seen paparazzi out following Kehlani? And when was the last time you seen paparazzi out following YG? Now, all of a sudden, they're together and then paparazzi is just out the blue, know exactly where they are and just swarming. No, I think that they call paparazzi, got some photo ops in, are going to continue to get photo ops in on New York Fashion Week. And then, boom, they're going to announce that they're dropping some music together and it's probably going to help, you know, further them being mentioned and talked about and things like that. Because people like me are making videos about this when I think that it's bogus. But just, you know, to, to let y'all know what's going on. <laughs> okay? All right, guys. That's all for this video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think it's a real relationship? Because just because I think it may be a stunt, what do you guys think? I've seen a lot of people in the comments, they were like, you know, they look cute together. And then there was comments who were upset and angry that Kehlani was with him, being that he, I think he disrespected the LGBT community or something. I don't know, because a lot of comments was like, how could she be with him? He's a colorist and he doesn't like LGBT or, or something. I don't know. It was some crazy comments. 
And I also want to know what you think about Kaylani's baby daddy's talking and setting the record straight and making it clear that he never said that he was gay and that he is a father to his daughter. So, you know, he wanted to clarify that. What do you guys think about that? Let's talk about it right now. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're waiting for, boo. Hit that subscribe button right now. All right, guys. 